Hi, fourth graders. We're back for lesson 11.8. We're going to use our different multiplication strategies to solve some word problems today. So the first word problem says evening movie tickets cost $18 for an adult and $12 for a child. Matinee movie tickets cost $15 for an adult and $9 for a child. A family of two adults and four children want to go to a matinee showing of the movie. How much would it cost the family? So let's just mark up our prices first. Evening tickets and then the matinee tickets. And then you can also use color pencils when you're doing your stepping stones or the extra practice. So let's mark up our word problem. We have two adults and four children going to the matinee showing. So that would mean two times $15 for the adult tickets and four times $9 for the child tickets. And then we can calculate these separately and then add them up for the grand total. Okay. So I have 30 plus 36. It would cost that family $66 to go to the matinee showing. The next question says, which is less expensive? Five adults going to an evening movie or nine children going to a matinee? So again, you can use color pencils or highlighters, and then let's calculate these separately. Then we can compare. Five adults going to an evening movie would be five times 18. I can break that down into smaller factors to make it easier to solve and then find friendly products. And then I get $90 for the five adults going to an evening movie. Now let's go back and calculate the nine children going to a matinee. That would be nine times nine because the tickets are $9 each and that's $81. Now I can compare. So which is less expensive? 81 is less than 90. So it would be less expensive for the nine children going to the matinee okay. than it would be for the five adults going to an evening movie. Let's take a look at some more word problems here. Alicia has 100, a $100 gift card for the movies. She wants to take her entire family, including her parents, who are visiting to an evening showing of the movie. The entire family would be four adults and three children. And then there are some questions. Does she have enough on the gift card? If not, how much does she need to pay? If she does, how much is left over? So go ahead and go back in to your word problem and mark up all the facts that they give us, all the information. So let's just see how much it would cost for the family to go. Going back and checking the prices for your tickets, and they're going to the evening showing. So you can go ahead and calculate for four adults. That would be four times 18. For three children, that would be three times 12. You can solve these separately and then add them. Now, if I'm not sure how much four times 18 is, I can even use my double and half strategy. Okay? You can also use the standard algorithm or breaking it apart into smaller factors. So I'm going to show that I'm going to take half of four, which is two, and then I'm going to double 18, which is 36, because I know what two times 36 is. That's 72. So now I'm going to add the ad four adult tickets, $72, plus the three tickets for the kids, $36. And I'm going to get my grand total. So it would cost them $108. So she only had a $100 gift card. So would she have enough? No. She does not have enough on just the gift card to cover those tickets. So how much will she have to pay? She's going to have to pay $8 out of her own money to cover the $108, right? $100 from the gift card and $8 of her own. Continuing with the same information, 
Another part of the word problem says, can you take four adults and eight children to a matinee for less than three adults and six children going to an evening showing? So again, calculate these separately and then you can compare. So for the three adults and six children going to the evening showing, it would be three times 18 for the adults and six times 12 for the kids. You can always write out your equations and then go back and solve all of them. For the matinee, we can go back and check our prices, $15 and $9. So for the four adults, four times 15, for the eight children, eight times nine. Now you're ready to do all your multiplication. So I know four times 15 is 60, eight times nine is 72. <clears throat> if I line it up, I can just add it right there. So for the matinee, it would cost $132 for everyone to go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at evening tickets. So I might already know that six times 12 is 72. Maybe I'm not sure what three times 18 is. I can break it apart into smaller factors. Three times nine times two. And then I see that three times two is six, and I know my basic math facts, so I know six times nine is 54. Now I can add. So the total for the evening tickets comes out to $126. Now I can compare that with the 132. So is the matinee less? No, it is not. The matinee actually costs $132 and the evening tickets cost $126. Okay, so the answer is no. You can't take them to the matinee for less than going to an evening. And you can just explain that it costs $132 for the matinee, which is more than $126 for the evening showing.